I'll just save the new file. Today, so it's 20th open. And let me press Ctrl B to see what we get. Basically, what I just did was highlighting the trade day when the percentage change goes about 1%. Instead of using the old method, which is the bf.load row column, instead of using the old method that we discussed before, I'm going to use a new way to do. It's way easier. Let me just comment these two things out. First of all, we need to know that from our database, let's say if you're just extracting your data from Yahoo and the trade day is your index. That is the leftmost column like this then we can use the date index to help us slide the period so let's say for a data frame df so let me just print the df and then i specify the date period let's say i want to extract march 2015 to april 2015 2015 march And then 2015 April. Okay, then let me press. Let me run it and see what we get. Then we have the table from the first day of March to the last day of April. It's not in March 1st because it was a holiday. So something like that, but um, you get the idea. So let's say within the period from March 2015, to April and I want to extract the percentage change of the day that is more than 1% so that is this one March 18 March 19 so I'll just filter these out I build on this one and then I add a dot where function and then I simply add the column which is the percentage ECT underscore change that is the daily percentage that one has to be more than one so let me press ctrl b to run hopefully it works yep march 13 not 2015 these are the one i filter out all the daily percentage that is more than one so let me see if i can fill in and A with this. Let me see. Control boy. Let me try something. Whoops. So I'll just fill this with zero. So that's one additional way to filter out things without using the data frame dot load. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.